Hey and welcome back to Trust Curve. Today we are going to talk about Gaganyaan's launch escape system which takes astronauts to safety in case the rocket explodes in flight or on the pad. So let's get started. A launch escape system, AES, or a launch abort system, whatever you want to call it, is a crew safety system which is sometimes attached on top of a capsule or sometimes attached to itself like the crew dragon. It's a safety system which pulls away the actual spacecraft from the main rocket in case of an anomaly or an impending explosion. Even on the pad or in flight, if it detects that something wrong with the rocket, it'll go through some processes and fire up a bunch of rocket motors and separate the capsule from the rocket and take it away to a safety margin uh, from where the crew can't be affected due to an explosion of the rocket. Currently in the world, there are two main types of abort systems. One is the pusher, uh, which is placed on the bottom of spacecrafts like the Starliner and the Crew Dragon. And the other is a tractor or a puller, which is like a tower on the top of a capsule. Gaganyaan has the latter. It has a tractor system, which is quite similar to one on the Soyuz spacecraft. Here you can see the similarities. They both are encapsulated in a pairing. And they both also use grid fins for stabilization, which is something very unique to the encapsulated Soyuz systems like on the Shenzhou and on the Gaganyaan capsule. The Gaganyaan's launch escape system has three main components. They are, first, the low altitude escape motor or the LEM. The second is the high altitude escape motor or the HEM. And the third is the encapsulating fairing itself which contains the grid fins and all. The low altitude escape motor, as its name suggests, is used to abort the Gaganyaan space capsule at lower altitudes or even on the pad. It has uh, the motors on top of the tower as you can see here. The tower also contains the pitch motors which are used to control the orientation of Gaganyaan during the abort and during LES separation. The low altitude escape motor is a single solid rocket on top of the tower with four nozzles and above that is the pitch motors and above that is the nose cone. The four nozzles of the rocket are on the sides as you can see here and they come out so as not to scorch the fairing which is covering the Gaganyaan space capsule. The high altitude escape motor is actually not on the tower. It's integrated on the sides of the fairing itself because it's needed even after the actual tower is jettisoned. It can be used between that little corridor where the fairings have not separated yet but the tower has been jettisoned. So it ensures the crew is safe even if something goes wrong during that little short period of time. So let's talk about the abort sequence. The abort sequence is a series of events that takes place if an abort system detects that there has been an abort or if an abort is triggered by the rocket. Uh, I just said abort four times. Anyway, the Gaganyaan system also has an abort sequence. So let's talk about it. So firstly, the command module inside the fairing is separated from the rest of the spacecraft. Then after that, the grid fins are deployed to make the entire aborting system stable in the atmosphere. Then the high altitude escape motor is fired followed by the low altitude escape motor, as you can see here. 0.9 seconds into the flight, the pitch motor is ignited, which burns out 2 seconds after that, and it's used to control the orientation while aborting. After it's safe enough away from the exploding rocket, the crew module is separated by releasing latches on top of the module itself and dropping it down below. After the command module is separated, it opens a series of parachutes, starting with the pilot parachute. The pilot parachute lowers the speed down enough for the mains to open and guides the mains so that they can open properly. After the main parachutes are fully deployed, Gaganyaan cruises down, I mean not actually cruises but just glides down to the surface of the ocean and splashes down. In this test, it just kinda flopped down into the ocean, I don't know if that was intended or not, but yeah, that's it. ISRO has already conducted the pad abort test of the Gaganyaan's launch escape system back in 2018. It was also planned to do an in-flight abort test where the launch escape system would be tested mid-flight like the one that happened of the Crew Dragon. But that was supposed to happen back in December of 2019 which got delayed to 2020 and due to the pandemic going on right now it got further delayed to at least next year. ISRO is also upgrading the C20 uh, engine and the C25 upper stage of the GSME Mark III and the rest of the rocket to meet the safety requirements required for actual human crewed flights. It looks like ISRO has already upgraded the Gaganyaan's launch escape system for its new models in the Human and Exploration Simpsonian in Bengaluru so that they've changed a lot of things. 
Firstly, they've changed the fairing and made it more rounded, and they've also upgraded the grid fins to make them more triangular and unlike the actual Soyuz squared grid fins. In a presentation given by the director of VSSC, S. Somnath, he said that the reliability targeted for the human rated launch vehicles of ISRO is 0.99, which means that only one out of 100 vehicles can be unreliable. This means that one of the main elements of the Gaganyan program is safety and safety of the astronauts. So the near future is still filled with delays for the Gaganyan program. But let's cross our fingers and hope that the in-flight abort tests go well and the other tests and all the things go well so that we can see Indian astronauts launching from Indian rockets on Indian soil soon. I stole that directly from Jim Biden's time. The set goal for launching the first uncrewed uh, flight was next year, was this year, but it got delayed to next year. And now the goal of launching humans, the first Indian, is 2022. So let's hope that happens. And yeah. So thank you for watching this video. I again had a lot of fun making it. I'm trying to make these once in a month because I have studies and all. So if you like this video, please subscribe down below and like and uh, you can share it if you want. Thanks for watching, my name is Pranav and remember, space is for all of us.